All right, everybody. My name is Michael Gibson. You can call me Mr. Gibson. I own and operate Gibson's Lawn Service. I know y'all see me in this shirt and tie and wonder what's going on. I realized something how um, the way the economy's going, a lot of people are in trouble. And uh, listen, I'm gonna try to help as many people as I can. Um, I'm not too long ago, uh, had a meeting with a few guys. That's why I'm dressed like this. I don't wear this. I'm going to be real. They were some squares. All right. So I got to dress like a square to get the square attention. But right now, that's neither here nor there. I'm, I'm just going to show y'all in Mississippi how you could um, beat inflation. Um, because the way everything, like I, I was listening to a young lady. She was basically saying how she don't make enough to survive and uh, 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 she can't afford her nice apartment that she have. That's going up. Groceries going up, her insurance going up, her cell phone bills going up, cables going up. Everything is going up since the pandemic. You can't give out that much free money and expect everything to stay the same. That's neither here nor there. <clears throat> We're going to deal with the people in Mississippi. Listen, um, how can I say this? I'm just going to give it to y'all uncut, real, and raw. To the young ladies that don't have any kids, planning on finding a suitable young man one day get married, you need to take notes. For the young men that don't have any kids that's not married, you need to take notes. But if you already have kids, already got a man, hey, it's neither here nor there. You can still take notes. We're going to deal with Mississippi and I'm going to give y'all the sauce on how you can beat inflation, rise above the crowd, and live a good life. Now, this video is not for the penny pinches, people who want to squirrel away 50 cents or a dollar here and there, who want to drive 20, 30-year-old cars, who want to eat tuna out of can. This video is for the people that want to prosper and live. How many of y'all want to go on three vacations a year? No, I do. I want to drive a new vehicle to show you how to beat inflation. We're going to start with Mississippi. The average salary for Mississippi, hope y'all can see this, is really $47,000, but we're just going to go with $50,000, all right? Um, the average rent in Mississippi ranges from $600,000 to a thousand and this is only apartments okay so we're gonna go 600 to 1000 all right now i, I want to show y'all something there is no stay-at-home moms anymore those days are over with unless unless you are willing to put in the grind to double this but we're not on that right now Let's take that 50,000, okay? Um, hold on one second. All right, everybody, like I said, average income is $50,000. Average rent ranges from 600 to 1,000. Now, let's do the math on something. Uh, that's for four taxes, okay? This is $961 a week before taxes. Uh, I don't know. Let's just say $200 a week covers your taxes, your insurance, and retirement. That's going to leave, if I'm not mistaken, $761. Um, the math is not right. It really don't matter a few hundred dollars for what I'm trying to teach you. Take notes is what I need you to do. All right. So you're going to be left with $761 per week. Now, we can, for a single man, that's good. But look, I'm going to tell you what the typical single man does. They all do it. You'll have a rarity that don't. Typical single man, he makes a 761 a week profit. He's going to go get him an $800 apartment. He's going to go get him an $800 truck note. Then they're going to go meet a nice girl. Then they're going to get together. They're going to move in. Then they're going to have a kid. Then they're going to have two kids. And then he gonna be in the jam we are in right now. So he, yeah, just listen, okay. Single man, you, a lot of single guys don't understand it until they go through it. They gonna do everything I just said, 
And I'm not saying a woman won't be working, but you don't need your wife working, you working, and the only thing y'all bringing home is $100,000. Your wife working, uh, you working, y'all bringing home 100000 How much are you paying the daycare people? How much are you paying the daycare people if both y'all working making a hundred thousand? When I priced daycare for my three kids, it was about four hundred a week. Oh man, I put it out there. Okay, groceries for a family. Let's just say two fifty a week, which we know that's not eating out. That's seven days a week. I spend way more than two fifty. Let's just say two fifty a week, which is in turn is a thousand dollars a month. Okay, all right. You're making fifty thousand a year. Between six hundred to a thousand is your rent. Thousand dollars a month on groceries. Seven, that's to eat at home. Seven days a week. That's not to eat out. All right. We're not gonna look for the sake of time. We're not gonna get into light bill, water bill, phone bill. Y'all do the math on that. We're not going down that road. All right. Like we said before. This is 961 before taxes. After taxes and insurance, we're gonna drop off 761 a week. Which in turn, 761, that's gonna bring us to $3,044 for the month. Average apartment, average apartment, listen, when you buy a mortgage, it's gonna, when you get buy a house in South. Houses in South Mississippi are $250,000 on up. That's for a three-bedroom, two-bath. Those mortgages are $1,300, $1,400 a month. Who can afford that? Who can afford that? But I'm going to show you something. Let's just say you got an apartment for $750. You add that other three, four, five hundred dollars in later, but you're going to see what I'm talking about. Your apartment is $750, right? Your grocery bill for the month is $1,000. That's for you and your girlfriend, of course, or you by yourself. Now, if you by yourself, you spend that thousand a month. You know, you might want to eat lobsters and shrimps and steaks. A single man, you want to live a good life. But you got a spouse, girlfriend, wife. People don't get mad no more. Have one kid. That thousand still, eh, you got to buy milk. What vehicle are you driving? You driving the car you had since high school, you saving money. But let's just say for the sake of time, the average person, young person or an adult person, they're gonna have a car note. Let's be generous and say this car note is 300 a month, which we know how much car notes is. Let's round all that up, $3,044. Minus 750. I do have my calculator because I had a nerd tell me while I was teaching in class. Mr. Gibson, the, the numbers are you're, you're, you're three, three dollars off. Listen, clown, I'm teaching you something. Y'all call me. I didn't call y'all. Y'all call me. That's what I told him. Y'all call me to come teach the class. All right. But anyway, use my calculator. I know how people live. 750. When that's said and done, you're going to be left with $954, right? Now, divide that up into weeks. That is $238.50 for the week. That is what you're making. $50,000 a year. That is what your $750 rent. That is what your $1,000 uh, grocery bill. You are left with just the bare necessities. Your salary, insurance, retirement, your rent, six hundred to a thousand. I was generous and gave you seven fifty. Your grocery bill, it's a thousand dollars a month. Single man want to eat with shrimps, lobsters, and steaks. A married man just trying to feed his family. All right. After taxes, you are left with seven sixty one a week, nine sixty one before taxes. I'm being generous, and you know it. Average salary fifty thousand. All right. Monthly, you should bring in $3,044 for the month, 
Your rent is seven fifty. Grocery bill is a thousand. Um, your car note is three hundred. Y'all know food steady climbing. You are left with nine fifty four, two hundred and thirty eight dollars and fifty cents a week. What is going to happen from here? Let's say you have a spouse who's equivalently making fifty thousand a year. I'm about to show you how you mess up. This is your salary. Here's your spouse salary, fifty thousand. Okay. The man paying all the bills, or the wife, it don't matter. Y'all both making fifty thousand. Let's just say y'all got everything in one pot. All the bills are being paid. He's left with two hundred thirty-eight dollars and fifty cents. Right. The spouse have $761 a week. <clears throat> right? Right? She's left at the end of the month $3,044. I'm about to show y'all something. Now, when the average woman, I said average, you have the anomalies out there. When the average woman have a man that's taking care of all the business, like I said, this is just for him and her. We having three kids in the mix. Because Buddy can't afford diapers and milk. Typically, that $238, he got to put gas in his truck. He got to buy diapers. So I'm not even, I'm going I'm to be generous and let him keep his $238. I don't want him crying watching the video when he's watching this and realize that this is a reality that a lot of people face. So I'm going to let him keep his money. I'm going to let him keep his diaper money, his milk money. See, we ain't done sale for him. Let's do that. Let's just do that right there. This is what the wife is left with, $3,044. I'm about to show you something. Let's just be, let's just be generous and say two sale phone bills are $100. Let's just be generous and say y'all spend $60 a week on gas to and from work, $240. Let's be generous and say the light bill is a hundred. I'm writing small like cell phone, gas, and lights. That way I won't forget where I'm at. Let's be generous. Let's be generous and say the vehicle insurance is 200 a month for two vehicles, full coverage. Let's be generous and say the cable, $60, the internet, $60 a month. So we got a cell phone, we got the gas bill for both cars, lights, the uh, uh, vehicle insurance, and the internet. All right? Now, both parties are contributing. Let me show you something. I'm going to show you where the average American make the mistake. See, the man over here, he's paying all the bills. He the man, his chest, he, he walking around with his chest out. His, his chest out, he paying all the bills. I'm paying all the bills. He tell all his buddy at work, he paying all the bills. He's left for $238.50. Watch this. We're going to take the lady. She's left with $3,044, right? Okay. That's the cell phone for both parties, $100. Y'all know I'm being generous with these cell phones. Okay. The, the gas, both vehicles all month, $240. Y'all know I'm being generous with gas. I don't want y'all crying watching this video. Y'all know the light bill is going to be more than $100. Stop playing with it. Vehicle insurance, $200. That's typical. Internet, $60. Okay. That's $2344. About to show y'all something. So she got all the utilities. She's, oh, oh, I'm paying my fair share. He can't tell me nothing. Oh, oh, all right. She's left with a whopping $586. $586. Now, see, Junior over here, his chest out, he's paying all the bills. He got $238 left. Is this old lady putting gas in his car? So he's going to get him a fresh haircut every week, $25. That's another $100 a month, by the way. It's $100 a month. So we're going to go $238. dollars 
minus twenty five dollars for Junior. For Junior now, Junior's left with two thirteen. Oh, I'm sorry, I got my napkin right here. Two thirteen. See, Junior getting a haircut every week now. Two thirteen. Okay. Then let's go to the movies. Let's go out. Let's go out. He pay a weekend, she pay a weekend. You know when you go out on the weekend, you're going to spend $200, right? Well, why you say that, Gibson? We all eating at McDonald's? You going to Fridays. Applebee's two for 25. Get out of here. You're going to eat a steak. The average meal is going to be $50 plus tip of 60. You're going to go out twice a month because you want to live. That's one twenty a month to go out. That ain't nothing but an extra thirty dollars a week. So, so Junior now is left with one hundred and eighty-three dollars. That's it. So all he's left without this paycheck. Now let's get over here to the missus. She's left with uh, whoa, did I do that right? Let me see. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. The missus is left with $586 a week. If you know women, they want their feet done, nails done, and hair done. I'm going to be generous. From my understanding, those nails got to be done every week. That hair, let's just say twice a month. The hair is 100 a pop. Two times a month, that's 200 Feet and nails is like fifty dollars a week, so we had three hundred a month for that. You know she got to stay looking good. She paying bills. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. Taking a little bit too long on this. She's left with five eleven now every week. Right. Hold up. 5-11 every week. All right. What else? You know she's going to get her a few nice outfits, handbag, purse, heels, all of that. Let's just say an outfit a week with the bag, with the neck, with the shoes. Let's just say $100. She buy two fits, $200, right? She's left now with four sixty one a week, right? For the sake of time, I'm not gonna deduct nothing else. We just gonna add this up. Four sixty one times four. That's eighteen forty four, right? For the sake of time, for the sake of time, I'm not doing this any longer. At the end of the month, you put both of those salaries together. You throw them in a pot. They are both left with $25.76 for the average young person. They will blow half of this by going out, going to parties, going out on the weekend, buying clothes, going on trips, doing it big for their birthday. I had to throw a kid in the mix. I had to throw daycare in the mix. She had to took time off from work while having the baby. You see what I'm saying? See, this gonna catch up with you. It's called salary flatline. See, right now you're living a good life. Everything is great. Let me make sure I'm still recording. See, everything is great. Right now you're still living a good life. This is how a salary flatline will catch you. Average daycare on a newborn is about 175 to 200. You take 800 from 2500, that's what you left with. I ain't about to sit here and do the math for you. That's what you left with. And then you got to just about take her salary from her because she's not gonna work the first month, two, whatever. And then you gotta throw her back out in the workforce after she had a baby so she can help you pay the bills. 
Hope, let's hope this man stay loyal and don't go out there and make no babies. Let's, let's hope he stay loyal to this woman and keep everything in house. But you know what? Life just don't go that way. When people pass the threshold of having kids and try to buy a house and reality sets in, that's when they realize, oh crap, I'm not making any money. So what's the way out of it? The way out of it is this. A job isn't going to save you. Unless you just got one of them jobs where you make it 200000 a year by yourself. That's the only way. But how many of those jobs out there, they fall and few in between? Everybody wants those jobs. Everybody's fighting for them. And it's all buddy, buddy, connected. The only way out, start a business. Everybody ain't business minded. You're going to have to be. You're going to have to be. Junior can run out here and work two jobs. Make 100000 his wife ain't gonna see him. God forbid to have a kid. The kid ain't gonna see him. Well, he can work seven days a week at his job and make a hundred thousand. The job is not going to save you. For the moment, I'm gonna use myself for instance. We're on 2022. Back in 2015, I was working seven days a week. I was bringing home between twelve and thirteen hundred a week as a uh, single man, I was a single man, and I noticed. I said, "Hold up, I can't keep working every day and live." So when I would cut back on the overtime, I would realize, "And this check ain't enough. I can't live how I want to live." So I got to go back to get the overtime to live how I want to live. It, it's ne you're never gonna, never gonna win. Inflation will beat you every time. Now, on the way out of that. Only way out of that is to start a business. See, if they were smart, they'd take this what they got left over before they had kids. Get a, uh oh, get a business off the ground. Throw all of this at that business to get that business off the ground. It's the only way you're gonna beat inflation. Gas isn't. Gas might fluctuate. The price of vehicles might fluctuate. Rent will never go down. The prices on houses will never go down. They are only going up from here. Everything goes up. Nothing goes down. Your job, your salary will not be able to keep up with inflation. I see it all the time. Watch the news. People are losing homes every day. They don't make men how they used to make them anymore. Ladies, if you got a man that's willing to go out there and work a full-time job, grind, and get a business off the ground, stop crying and stay with that man. Don't worry about him spending time with you. Y'all ain't write this down, but listen. There's one way out of this. Start a business. I don't care if you're not business-minded or not. You better figure out how to be. You better figure out how to be, because I ain't this, 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 that's the only way out. Your full-time job will fail you. I've talked with plenty of guys who've stayed on full-time jobs 10, 20, 30 years. We got to let you go. Well, wh why? Uh, I, I, I gave y'all 30 years. We caught you asleep. We got to fire you. Or, or, or you haven't been producing. I produced when I was 20 and 30 and 40 and 50. I'm 60. I can't produce. We know, Mr. Gibson. We have to let you go. Or the one I do here, well, I put all my retirement with y'all for 40 years. What you mean? Y'all y'all lost it. We're sorry. Ain't nobody coming to save you, man. You're on your own. Don't nobody care about you. Don't nobody care about your kids. They don't. They don't. The, these companies don't care nothing about your kids. They don't care nothing about your family. They don't care what you have going on. It's about their bottom line, their bottom dollar. Now, it's up to you to save yourself from this madness. It's up to you. Now, well, how do I start a business? What, what do I need to do? Look it up. You look everything else up. You look up how much it costs to go to Disney, how much it costs to buy this wig, how much it costs to buy these drawers, how much it costs to buy this new car. Look it up. Look it up. You got people cutting grass and making a quarter million a year. 
You got people cleaning houses making 150 a year. It, you don't have to be great to start. Just start. Figure something out and start. You got 2,000 left at the end of the month before life really hits you. See, it'd be hard for me right now to get a business off the ground with a wife and three kids and everything's on me. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Me, I have a wife and three kids. I need more than 50000 a year. That's not enough. That's not enough. I, there's no way you can tell me I need to stretch $50,000 with a wife and three kids. It's not going to happen. So women, when you get ready to pick a man, you need to pick an ambitious man. Pick no lazy man. We can do it together. You can't do it together. You can't. One of you is going to be more ambitious than the other, and the other one going to kick back and say she got it or he got it. The only way out of this is to grind your way out. It's the only way out of it. I've looked. I've tried to see if there was other ways. I have to work seven days a week to get out of it. It's the only way out. It's a risk to whatever you do. It's a risk working a full-time job. It's a risk starting your own business. It's all a risk. How much of that risk are you willing to take? So, as I said before, you can use this example that I have already erased. You can stay asleep in the matrix and say, I don't want to hear nothing he's saying. I don't believe him. He's a lie. I don't want to hear it. Hey, do what it is you want to do. I gave you the sauce. I gave you the recipe. Just bake the cookies. I gave you the recipe. Just bake the cookies. Or you can stay blind. It's your choice. Listen, it's been fun, but I'm not charging y'all for this class. So I can go in depth, break everything down. Listen, I know where every penny goes in my house. I do. I know every penny goes, every single penny. I can sit here and break everything down to the last penny on what stuff really costs. We know, we know how much stuff really costs. This was just an easy example to be neutral. We know what a single man going to do with that money. He's going to screw it up. The majority will. We know what a single woman is going to do with that money. She's going to screw it up. The majority. When they come together, yes, they're making good money, but when you get to having kids, that's when you're going to be like, hold up, this is not enough. Listen, my time is out. My time is, that's my time. I'm out.